Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. How are you guys today? I have a hair review that I'm excited to share with you guys because I've been using this hair for a while, but this is just me showing you how the hair looks when you freshly take it out the pack. I got both a 30 inch and a 24 inch. This is how the 30 inch lays on me and this is how the 24 inch lays on me. Here I'm showing that you can break up this hair without it getting frizzy. You just have to make sure you separate it in small parts. I saw a couple of reviews on the products page where people say it gets tangled when they're trying to install, but if you make sure that you do small increments at a time, it won't get tangled on you. The curl pattern that I got was a French curl. There is a couple of different curls on Amazon, which is nice. I've only tested out the French curl so far. I haven't really explored the other curls, but I will definitely soon and do a review on those curls too. Everything that I use in this video will be linked in my Amazon storefront, but let's get into the hair. For my client, she doesn't like her hair too full just because she does yoga and she works where she needs to have her hair up. So I made sure that I did not do the braids too thick. And this is me showing how I install the braid. First, you want to make sure that your part is clean and straight. On this mannequin, it's like impossible for me to get a straight part, but I'm showing you guys something. You want to split the hair in three parts. I do two full braid stitches and then I begin to add in the hair. And I made sure that my first three times I add in the hair, the hair is small. It's not a thick strand of hair, it's a small strand like that one. So that's my first thing I add. And then I do one more rotation and then I add in my second piece. And then depending on how thick I want it, either I add in a third piece or I just leave it at two pieces. But in this example, I believe I was adding in three pieces each braid. And then I begin just to braid down on the braid. Product is going to be your best friend. I use just a little bit at the root just so I can slick all the hair into the braid, into the knotless braid at that. And then I continue to braid down. Once I get to my client's natural hair and where it's going to end off at, I add some product to the natural hair and the braiding hair just so it can slick all those tiny hairs into the braids. So that's me adding the product on. And then I just continue to braid down and make sure that I can tuck the natural hair in as much as possible. Depending on how thick your client's hair is, you might need to add in an extra strand into the braid just so everything is even while you're braiding down sometimes you don't have to do it but sometimes you do if i'm doing a full head by myself i will just stop around that point and then i'll come back and finish it later i like to get my clean parts in and make sure that everything is straight while i have the energy to do so and try to keep all my parts pretty consistent and then therefore when i'm doing the bottoms i can either sit down and finish them or stand up if I still have energy. I've run into a lot of people that say that their braider has started off small in the back and then once they got to the top, it got bigger because they started to get tired. So my advice is just to get your parting in as neat as possible and then go back and finish it. Also, another piece of advice is just to have all your hair already pre-prepped out before your client even gets there. That saves a lot of time. It saves me about an hour or maybe an hour and a half. For this hair, I received eight packs in my package and that was well enough to do my client's hair. I only used four packs to do her hair and so I can honestly get away with doing another head if I were to do the braids this skinny with my parting size. But if you are doing thicker braids, you'll probably still only use five to six packs. Things that I like about this hair is that the hair is really soft and the hair is a great price. The hair is perfect for knotless braids. It also comes in all kinds of different colors. 
I got the ombre color 1B going into 30, going into a 27, but they have different ombres and they also have solid colors too. Here I'm showing how I finish my braids off. I don't use any glue. I just take a little piece of hair and I do a knot. And then I do another knot. I was trying to get my camera to focus on the braid, but it wasn't trying to focus. But this is my second knot. And then I take my small crochet needle and I stick it through my knot. So I'm gonna show you guys, I stick it through the knot. And then I put the hair in and I draw it through the knot. I pull. And then I just do it one more time. And this keeps the braid really secure. I'm going to run my hands through this braid. And you're going to see that the knot does not slip down at all. It's there. I honestly don't have any cons to this hair. It has been one of my favorite hairs to use. I do have clients that return and get the same style over again. They do say that the curls do drop over time, but to fix that, you can just easily comb out the hair at the bottom and dip it back in hot water and get whatever curl that you desire. Here's the finished look, and I think it turned out really good. My client really loved her hair after it was done. The hair was lightweight and this color was bomb. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.